Levels of processing theory proposes that ability to remember information depends on how deeply we've processed it. According to this theory, if we engage in deep analysis of a concept, we will remember it longer and more clearly than if we engage in shallow analysis. The theory proposes three levels of processing. The first level of processing is structural processing. This is the shallowest level focusing on the physical appearance or looks like aspect of information. When we use structural processing, we remember information based on its visual characteristics. For example, if you are trying to remember a concept from a book, you might recall the layout of the page, the color of the cover, or the font used in the headings. This level of processing leads to a fragile memory trace that is susceptible to rapid decay because it does not engage with the deeper meaning of the information. The second level is phonemic processing. This level involves encoding information based on how it sounds like. For instance, if you are trying to remember a concept explained in a lecture, you might recall the professor's voice, the way certain words were emphasized, or the rhythm of their speech. While this involves some analysis beyond mere appearance, it still does not engage with the meaning of the information, resulting in a memory trace that is more durable than structural processing, but still relatively weak. The deepest level of processing is semantic processing. This involves encoding information based on what it means and relating it to similar concepts or prior knowledge. For example, when learning about a scientific theory, you might think about its implications, how it relates to other theories you know, or its significance in real world applications. Semantic processing leads to the most durable memory traces because it involves a deeper engagement with the material, making it more likely that we will retain the information over the long term. There are several strengths of the levels of processing theory. First, it provides a clear explanation for why deeper, more meaningful engagement with material leads to better memory retention. It emphasizes the quality of processing rather than just the quantity of time spent on learning. Second, it has practical applications in educational settings, suggesting that teaching strategies should focus on deeper engagement with the material to enhance learning and retention. However, the theory also faces criticisms. One criticism is that it lacks a clear operational definition of what constitutes depth of processing, making it difficult to measure and apply consistently across different contexts. Another criticism is that it does not account for the role of individual differences in memory retention, such as variations in cognitive abilities, prior knowledge, and learning styles, which can all influence how information is processed and remembered.